Hey y'all, it's Samantha. Welcome to my channel and happy Sunday. And y'all, I am so super excited to be sharing my very first project for week one of the Around the Crafty World in Five Weeks collaboration that I am currently participating in. And so for uh, week number one, it was Joanne's week, and Joanne chose an altered canvas for everyone um, to complete. And so this is what I have created. This is my very first altered canvas, and this is also my very first Halloween project since I started paper crafting in December of 2019. And I think that this just turned out super adorable. So I'm just gonna go over it real quick in detail of what I did to create this little cutie. So the first thing that I did, I went to the Dollar Tree and I picked up two of these uh, flat five by seven canvases, and this is the front and there's what the back looks like. And these came in a pack of two for a dollar. And so I just used some uh, chalk paint to paint the front and the back of the canvas in black. And then on the back of the canvas, I wanted this to be able to stand up on its own. So I had some of these little wooden blocks that you can buy from the Dollar Tree, and I think they come in a pack of 30. So I just painted them black as well and hot glued them. And now the canvas will stand up on its own just like that. So on the front here, this image that is covering up the entire canvas, this is actually a Google image that I found. So um, I printed it out and then used double-sided tape to adhere to the canvas. And then I just took sandpaper and sanded over the whole image and then went around um, the sides of the canvas just to give it that distress and kind of vintage and old look. And as you can tell up here, the distressing is a little um, thicker up here, but I really like it. I think it gives it more character. And then, um, so these ladies are definitely brewing up something wicked. <laughs> and I just thought this was so cute. And I did add some glossy accents to each of their hats just to give it a little bit more um, dimension and interest. And as far as the cauldron that they are stirring here, these came from the Dollar Tree. Um, I bought these in a pack of four and I just took my X-Acto knife and cut it in half. And this is what it originally looked like. This is the other half. And so the, since this was so shiny and new, I just took my sandpaper and sanded over the whole surface of the cauldron just to give it that aged and spooky look. And then um, as far as the flames here, these flames were actually already imprinted into the plastic. So I just took some more chalk paint and mixed yellow and orange together and just painted over the flames that were already there. And then on the bottom, <laughs> I thought this was so super cute. So I went out in the yard and just picked up a stick that was laying um, on the ground. And I just broke them into tiny little pieces and actually hot glued these to the bottom of the cauldron. So it gives that illusion that, you know, this is an active fire with the flames coming up. And so I thought that was a cute little touch. And then as far as um, whatever they're brewing up here, it's spilling over out of the cauldron. I used uh, green fluff from Hobby Lobby. I had picked up several packs of the Easter fluff um, on clearance. And the packs of fluff came with pink, yellow, and green. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's going to be perfect. So um, as you can see, it's spilling out on both sides. It's bubbling up over the top. And then I've even added some of these super cute little bubble buttons here that I just picked up from Hobby Lobby a couple weeks ago on clearance. And I thought that that just gave it that little extra something. I also took uh, chalk paint and painted the um, handle of the cauldron. And after I painted everything, I actually went back over it with my sandpaper so the paint didn't look so shiny and new. And then on both sides of the cauldron, I added these little sticker um, tombstones. Now these are Jolie Boutique uh, stickers I had in my stash. And they actually had um, like glittery silver pumpkins on them. And I thought that that was just a little too shiny and bright. So I pulled those off and I also used my Distress ink and I actually inked around the edges and inked around the front and let it dry just for a second. And then I took a paper towel and wiped it off so it gives it more of an aged look. And then as far as my trees here that I have going up the sides of the canvas, I printed this out on my Cricut. And I just love how bare and spooky looking these trees are. 
And then this is actually the my favorite part <clears throat> of this <laughs> canvas. I love this um, man in the moon face. It is super adorable. Again, this was um, a Google image that I found. I printed it off and then I took a, a stitched circle die that I had in my stash and placed it on the image and I don't know if you guys can see it but it does have stitching detail all around it and I think it just turned out absolutely perfect and I did add some foam tape on the back to give it dimension and then the last couple things that I added are these two super cute little glitter bats these came from Hobby Lobby that I picked up uh, several months ago I think these were on clearance as well and I added them um, on pop dots just so it gives them some dimension and gives them the feeling of uh, being in flight. And I am just super, super tickled <laughs> with how this turned out. Um, I absolutely love it and um, actually really impressed with, you know, using um, some different items to make a little 3D altered canvas. And so, yeah, you guys, um, I'm actually going to be giving this canvas away on November the 1st. Um, so if you guys are interested in um, entering for a chance to win, you must be 18 years of age or older. You must be visibly subscribed to my channel and also um, the other ladies that are participating in this collaboration. You must be visibly subscribed to them as well. And I will put a link to their channels in the description box down below. And then the last thing that you have to do to be entered for a chance to win is I want you to use the word batty, B-A-T-T-Y, in the comments down below. Um, just make up a funny sentence or a cute sentence, whatever you want to do, but you must use the word batty. All right, you guys, I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of your day. I hope that you guys have enjoyed uh, week one of our collaboration. Make sure that you head on over to the other channels and check out their projects. And there will also be prizes and giveaways on their channels as well. Um, so you definitely don't want to miss out, you guys. All right, that's it for this video. And I will talk to everyone later. And bye for now.